You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angeline Whitmire. This plant portrait is for coral honeysuckle, Lanicera sempervirens. Coral honeysuckle is a vine native to the United States. It can be found growing in eastern and central portions of North America and attracts hummingbirds as pollinators. If the winter is mild enough, the leaves of coral honeysuckle will remain on the vine and evergreen. The leaves may actually be shades of a dark blue-green or tinged with purple or red. Another defining winter characteristic is any remaining dried berries, not yet eaten by a bird. As the vine comes out of the winter season, it begins to sprout new leaves. Leaves grow in pairs along the vine's stem. The beginnings of flower buds can be seen even as the new leaves are growing to their mature size and shape. The flower stem grows longer and each flower bud becomes distinguishable as a separate bud at a node along that flower stem. Coral honeysuckle's flower buds lengthen into closed, narrow tubes, which are actually united petals. Six flowers develop at each node along the flower stem. Sometimes the flowers develop with a twist to them or some other not quite so perfect look. Here's a full inflorescence, beautiful, even before all the flowers bloom. Within an inflorescence, the trumpet-shaped flowers bloom from closest to the leaves toward the tip of the stem. Flowers are shades of red on the outside and golden yellow inside the throat. Here we can see six flowers blooming, or about to bloom, at each node. Both stamens and pistils protrude from the open mouth of the flower. The flower's tube of united petals flares open into five short lobes. The anthers, at the tip of the five stamens for each flower, are coated with yellow pollen. These close-up views of coral honeysuckle clearly show the five stamens and each flower's pistil with its disc-like shape. The flowers die and drop off the plant. Remember how the flowers grow in whorls at nodes? The base of each flower tube sits inside a green oval shape. When the flower tube drops off, the green oval shape, which is the flower's ovary, remains. When the ovary is successfully fertilized, it begins growing larger into a round green fruit or berry. The unfertilized ovaries stick around and can be seen as smaller green shapes defining the flower nodes. While the seeds develop within the berry, the outside of the coral honeysuckle berry begins turning color. From green, it becomes yellow from yellow to orange. And finally, from orange to red. I've included this image to illustrate how coral honeysuckle continues growing new flowers during the summer months, while it also has developing berries, ripe berries, and new leaves appearing. Ripe red berries are ready for the birds. Unpicked berries gradually shrivel as the weeks go by. Eventually, the shriveled berries look stiff and wrinkled, with their fully developed seeds inside the dried pulp. Let's back up in time for a minute. Notice the leaves behind the red berries. This pair of leaves is fused together and are therefore referred to as perfoliate. Moving backwards through the plant's seasonal cycle, look at that set of perfoliate leaves just below the flowers. 
below the flower buds. And you can just see a folded together set of leaves below these tiny emerging flower buds. Further down the vine stem, the leaves are distinctly separate as a pair of opposite leaves. Each leaf is blue-green in color when fully mature, with what is termed as pinnate venation. The leaf margins are entire, that is, smooth, and are curled under just a little. The underside of each leaf is much lighter in color. Some field guides refer to this as glaucus. When you first see a coral honeysuckle, the leaf arrangement is not so obvious until you can visually separate each pair of leaves along the vine. They are arranged oppositely, and they alternate positions along the stem so that, from above, they look like a whorled mass of leaves. A younger section of the coral honeysuckle vine can be yellow-green or tinged with red. As the vine ages and grows larger over the years, it becomes woody, brown with a shredded bark appearance. This vine does not have tendrils. Rather, it twines up any support it can find or spreads along the ground. One method of reproduction is for leaf nodes to grow roots if they come in contact with the ground for a long enough period of time. Just to demonstrate how many different phases a single coral honeysuckle plant can have at any one point in time, this next set of photos were all taken during the same autumn month. A red berry, new leaves, a dying leaf changing color, new vine stems emerging, more new leaves, and maturing leaves at the tip of a new stem. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Lanicera sempervirens, also known as coral honeysuckle. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of coral honeysuckle, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.